Hey everyone, welcome back to the garden. Today is a beautiful evening, so I thought what better to do than give everyone a garden tour. Since we planted all of our seeds last week, I have really been wanting to get a tour in. That way, once everything starts growing, you can really look back and see where you came from. It's such a fun part of gardening. I love it so much. So, let's go ahead and begin. When you first walk in, I have three raised beds here up at the front. Two are currently empty, and one holds all of my fabric grow bags. The plans for these two is one will be a perennial wildflower garden, and the other will be a perennial herb garden. I've already got herbs that are in my raised beds that need to go in there so that will be a project hopefully in the upcoming weeks and when I turn right I have a almost completely empty bed this bed will be for garlic and shallots that I have ordered the two garlics that I've ordered are music and elephant the elephant garlic is actually not a true garlic it is more of a member of the leek family I believe the music variety is a hard neck and I'll list some of the attributes down below I believe the shallots I ordered are a red variety. I will also have those down listed below so you can see. The only other two things in this bed are a couple of alpine strawberries which are sort of struggling but their crowns are still alive so they're not doing too bad. Since this heat has broken we will get some more strawberries in. As you can see I have this giant volunteer sunflower it actually is still throwing off shoots of sunflowers, so I'm not in too big of a hurry to tear it down because this is one of the few things I have available for the pollinators at the moment, so it has a purpose in the garden, and we're going to keep it. Down here, I just have a mint plant, and I believe this one is a mint julep, and it smells amazing. It smells almost exactly like a spearmint gum wood, and it's doing pretty good. I haven't managed to kill it yet, so... We're gonna take that as a win. Over here, I'll go ahead and take you through my grow bags. I have a curry plant here, this tricolor sage. This one is a lemon spice jalapeno. You can kind of see one there. They are a yellow jalapeno. And I also have two plants of sugar rush peach peppers. That one's kind of gross looking. Peach one is sort of a sweet peachy flavor and the lemon spice jalapeno is sort of a citrusy spicy flavor. We can just throw this crazy looking guy into the compost. As we walk into the first bed, I have set up the square foot gardening in this one. First off here is some dragon tongue beans. This is a bush variety, so they will just get bushier and not as tall. This square here and this one, I have planted parsnips. There are peas in those two corners. Kind of see the babies growing in there, and I think this one had one as well. So they're coming up. This square has some kale that I direct seeded. There's some little babies there. A couple there. And in that one, these center squares have zinnias planted, but so far this is the only one that has come up. I don't think I have anything in those squares yet. I have some fall transplants that are needed to go out, so I'll probably save those for that. If I walk over to this side, I also have more alpine strawberries. This basil plant. I can't remember if this is cinnamon or Thai. I think, I think this one is my Thai basil, but it makes beautiful, beautiful flowers. We'll definitely save some of those seeds. One more basil plant over there and some zinnias. I absolutely love the color of these zinnias. Some are more peachy than pink, but you can absolutely see the variety in colors. They are just gorgeous. And behind it, I have some of these purple flowers. I honestly don't remember what they're called, but they have withstood the test of time in our Oklahoma garden, and I'm excited about them. I have one more basil over there. This side is where all the beets have been planted, but I don't see any yet. Hopefully in the coming days we'll get some. We'll walk back around to this side of the garden. Here's an up close of the purple flowers. They are just so beautiful. And then an up close of these zinnias. We'll definitely need to save some seeds from these because I want them to come back next year. Next up is a pepper plant that has honestly not produced much. This is an ancho grande and this is my first 
one that I've gotten. Hopefully in the next month and a half we'll get more. Next to that is a purple bell pepper, which is absolutely loaded. There's one, two, three, four, five. I think there was some down here too, yeah. Six, seven, so seven bell peppers on that plant and they are just absolutely beautiful. So excited to get some of those. More zinnias, I believe, more basil. And here is my little baby boo plant. We have one little pumpkin growing already. There's another little baby right there. These are the only pumpkins I have planted in the garden, so I'm really hoping that they grow and do well. Up above here, I have my snack sunflower seeds. That's my friend back. There was a, a wheel bug up here, but I don't see him. But as you can see, this variety is really good for roasting the seeds of. They are absolutely massive. So really excited to get to those once the back of the sunflower turns more yellow. I've got three of these guys. There's one more. So on this side of the bed is my pride and joy. My cantaloupe is growing so well. Excuse you, thank you. So I don't even like cantaloupe, but we have family members that do. And I've been sending them like daily pictures of the cantaloupe, like this is coming, be prepared, and they're so excited. Next to that, I have a pesto perpetuo basil, which I read isn't supposed to flower. So it's good for hot climates, um, but it has seemed to flower. And I tasted one the other night. The leaves were like minty basil. They were not great. So I'm not sure what's going on with the plant. Down here, I've got a mini bell pepper plant there's one there one up there and it's got a few more coming so I've decided to leave it it's not taking up very much space and there's also a little rosemary tucked into here that I started from seed this year that's one of the ones I'll move to the perennial herb garden once that's set up so that is all for this l-shaped garden bed moving on to the other side of the arch I have my only other container plant, which is this blackberry plant. I think we probably got 10 or 15 blackberries off of it this year. I bought it last year and we got blackberries off of it. So I'm really hoping it'll grow much bigger in the next coming years. Moving on to the next bed, we will start with this moon and stars watermelon plant. You can see the leaves like the actual plant have the little yellow spots on it. I don't think this plant has any babies yet. There was one. I did have that one, but I don't think the flower fully opened on it, so I don't believe it got pollinated. But the plant itself is growing so well. I had peas planted here in the spring, so I think the peas really helped it get off to a good nitrogen-filled start. Next to that, I've got a sage plant that I started from seed this year. It is absolutely massive. I can't wait to harvest some of these leaves. This sage plant will also move to the perennial herb garden once that's established. I have another basil plant, more little zinnias, even more little zinnias. I just love the color variety in these. Some are just kind of pink, while some are like absolutely all kinds of pink. We'll definitely wanna save seeds from those as well. Here is my banana pepper plant, which is just absolutely loaded at the moment sir <laughs> so we'll be very excited to take some of those i have another pepper plant over here and i honestly i don't know the variety these got planted back in april early may and there is no longer on tag on it so i'm not quite sure what this pepper is um so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments down below this pepper however is my pepper gate pepper it was supposed to be a purple bell pepper but it is neither purple nor bell and they're actually very very spicy they turn like a yellow golden color once they're fully arrived and i'm not a fan so i will very likely not be saving seeds from any of those and i'm honestly surprised i've left it in the garden this long <laughs> more basil more zinnias more basil more peppers this is a candy cane variety so it has variegated leaves variegated peppers 
They're somewhat spicy, but they're not too bad. I'm really enjoying them. A mango melon plant down here. And I believe we have a little baby down there. I really thought this one would be so pretty to have grow up the trellis. So that's what it's doing at the moment. More basil. <laughs> More alpine strawberries. I have two eggplant plants which I've gotten one eggplant from, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I was late to get them out, so I'm not sure if they just got stunted, waiting to go out. One more mystery pepper plant that has yet to produce any peppers in September. I'm not sure what's going on with it. It clearly is not very happy. And I will go on the other side to show you the rest. On this side, I've got two delicata squash plants there is one little baby there that's oops sorry knocked your flower off sir that is growing really excited to try the delicata i have a murasaki pepper plant really pretty purple flowers on this plant not my favorite pepper but it is a beautiful plant more basil i have two zinnia plants i believe these were both supposed to be an envy plant but they may not have been this one is definitely envy this one looks somewhat different it's more yellow the leaves are kind of thinner i do prefer the thicker petal of the greener one so i'm not sure if it was a seed mix up or something i did but they're both growing big probably close to three feet tall in both of them i am almost ready to save seeds from that one <laughs> as i go through the bushes of the zinnias i have a bell pepper plant that has quite a few on there so really excited about those and i almost missed my shishito plant which is growing faster than we can harvest on and to the last little bit i have lima beans and one zucchini plant there that is just absolutely massive one more over here i did see a female flower starting to come up there. So really hoping for some zucchini soon. I did plant radishes in this square. I believe they are the giant radish variety. And over in this corner, you can almost see some peas starting to show. Really excited for the peas to grow. Okay, that's all. I had such a fun time showing you guys the garden here in oklahoma we have about 45 days till our first frost about a month and a half and there is still so much left to harvest so i'll be bringing you along so you can enjoy it as well thanks so much for joining me tonight we'll see you next time Bye bye